Welcome once again to the Guy Blog Podcast. My name is Orlando. I'm your host as always. Today, guys, my voice is a little bit out of sorts. So I'll probably try to, well, I'll try to keep this shorter than usual. Um, Can't lose my voice today. But it is Tuesday after Memorial Day. It was an awesome weekend. And I just wanted to catch up. Now, today's topic is pretty simple. Just give my uh, incredible, wonderful, amazing thoughts on what is wrong with Monday Night Raw. So, what is wrong with Monday Night Raw? Everything. So, I guess that's the podcast. That's the episode. Just, we're done. Good to go. Now, do you guys want to know why I think that everything is wrong with Raw right now? The ratings keep sinking, and there seems to be no fix in sight. The reasoning why everything is wrong with Raw is because the writing is wrong with Raw. The character development is wrong with Raw. The format is wrong with Raw. And I'm not here to just shit on Raw, because I, I, I do like SmackDown, but I love NXT. And I love wrestling in general. Raw was my my jam, my show, my everything um, way back when. So what has changed? First of all is on SmackDown, despite the fact that they keep stealing their best superstars, they keep developing new ones. Now, these new ones might not be seen as being on the same level of a John Cena or a Randy Orton, but they're new. They're different. So... While you have 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds, 14-year-olds that love John Cena and Randy Orton and think of them as their superstars that they grew up watching, you have these 6-year-olds, 7-year-olds, 8-year-olds that maybe don't want to like the same superstar that their brother or sister or father likes. So they want to gra- they're going to gravitate towards something new. And Raw is offering nothing new. Not in the sense of like there's no cool character, there's no funny character, there's nobody there with a personality that they can gravitate towards. Now, I'm not saying that none of these guys and and, and these men and women don't have personality. I'm saying they're not allowed to show it. And because they're not allowed to show it, nobody can gravitate towards them because we don't know what the heck they're about. And that's on Raw. That's on Vince McMahon. 15 years of pushing John Cena as your number one without a clear number two, number three, number four, and somebody that he's switching out like Stone Cold and The Rock did and Triple H did and Mick Foley did and The Undertaker did, where at any given time, a fan could view them as the number one. And when they meet is when forces collide. Like, not having any of that is not just on the superstars. It's on the fact that you've decided that to allow John Cena, through no fault of his own, good businessman and, you know, just a smart athlete, you let him dictate his career and the fact that nobody is going to get within 100 yards of me in popularity, but also in how they're used, in title runs, in everything. And now you're reaping what you sow. You still want these big superstars, but to make the real ones, it takes years. It even took John Cena years to reach, you know, that the stratosphere. And now you're giving them months. And if in months they, they aren't a superstar on another level, you consider them a failure. SmackDown, that's not what's happening. They're getting more than that. They're making Breezango happen, for God's sakes. SmackDown is doing a lot, NXT is doing so much more, but Raw is also the land where gimmicks and superstars go to die. And what I mean is, character development is happening in NXT on a great level, with a trajectory obviously thought out for most of the characters. On SmackDown, same thing. And then they go to Raw and there's no development, we just want them to use their stardom. And it's like the tabloids. They're only useful while they're hot. 
But since there's no character development or in tabloid speak, there's no new movies coming out, there's nothing. So since these guys and girls that are, or men and women that are in WWE Monday Night Raw, they're not developing anything. There's just, you know, we're beating each other up and we're wrestling and, oh, I hate you, I hate that, I hate this. Like, what's Roman Reigns' motivation? It's his yard, he's the top dog. That's ridiculous. That's freaking stupid. Not that, that that's how he thinks, that that's his only motivation. You know, the, what does he think of himself? That I'm the coolest guy, I'm the toughest guy? Like, how does he think? He doesn't, you know, he doesn't go around thinking, you know, he's at the gym, well, top dog needs to get another rep in. He doesn't think like that. But he probably does think, like, I got something to prove, I'm the best. These mofos think that they're better than me. They're about to find out. But we don't see that. We don't see how he thinks of himself. Maybe he's chill and he's like, listen, I ain't worried about none of these people. They're not on my level. Maybe that's it. But we don't see that. We see all this corny BS that just doesn't relate as far as think, uh, thinking of like how a real, real person would think. And if it's going to be that, then it has to go the other way. But Roman Reigns isn't a comedy character, so he can't go the Breezango route. And... We do. They do have some some hope with Samoa Joe and you know Seth Rollins again, but with Bray, they have some people that they can build around. Hopefully, they do. You know, Finn Balor brings something himself to the table, but right now, it's just this lack of real development of finding out what is the motivation. Um, that these wrestlers or these superstars have when they come out on screen. It's all this BS that we can't relate to. Therefore, nobody gravitates towards them. We, I'm not saying that obviously it's not that nobody would go to the shows, but I'm saying not enough of the audience feels a connection to these superstars, and that's affecting the show. But that's because there's also bad writing, there's not enough risk taking and you know they they're just not utilizing people in the best way i don't know if if you agree with me or not but think about it what storyline besides roman reigns becoming the champion and you know being the main event at wrestlemania which other storyline and that's not even a storyline that's just what their goal and what's going to happen but what storyline on raw develops throughout a six-month to ninth-month period. None. None. There is no storyline that develops over more than two months. So, you know, they don't plan out that maybe, oh, we have more pay-per-view, so we need to shorten it up. No. Keep developing throughout the pay-per-views like SmackDown do does. It, it just doesn't make any sense that, that they are just shortening their time span to make superstars because they're just throwing money in the air and just churning them out and wasting them and leaving them to become meaningless. Then they go back to SmackDown, all of a sudden they're worth something. So it's it's very, very um, disappointing. They can turn it around. But Vince McMahon, who has always been a visionary, he has always done amazing. I'm not here to shit on him and say, oh, no, he needs to stop doing this, that, and the third. No. But he needs to do what he's always done, which is reinvent what Monday Night Raw is, reinvent what wrestling is, reinvent his thinking process of how things should work on Monday Night Raw. Because out of the three main shows, it is obviously the one that's hurting most from a lack of imagination and originality. It is the one that is hurting the most from not having long-term plans. It is the one that's wasting superstars the most because it just focuses on two or three of them in a three-hour show. I mean, they have the biggest opportunity where they could have six main storylines running. They have the time for it, and yet nothing. They're, they they focus on one storyline, and that's it. I, I think that needs to change. Let's see if it happens. They need to focus on a mid-card. They need to focus on building everybody up. It's difficult, but SmackDown does it. NXT does it. They should be able to do it as the main show. They surely have more resources invested into it. 
That's that's just where I think the problem is, and that's why I say that it's everything because it's their foundation that's messed up. And hopefully Vince McMahon will allow that foundation to be changed, paved over, reinvented, so that they could have a better opportunity to succeed in the new age that, that wrestling lives in. As always, let me know what you think. Orlando at theguyblog.com is the email. Please email me your thoughts, questions, anything about like if you doubt, you're confused, you don't know, or you just want my thoughts on one of your questions. Let's, you know, feel free to ask. I will answer. On top of that, you can reach out at the guy blog on Twitter, on Instagram, pretty much everywhere. Um, and it's always a pleasure. So, guys, gals, let me know what you think. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and talk to you soon. Take care. Mm-hmm.